Hey, Talking Fam, and welcome to another Talking Sports video. And we're taking a look at the recap for the Miami Marlins against the St. Louis Cardinals on March 3rd. Spring training game number, uh, I think number six or right, right around that. And yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into the recap. the World Baseball Classic might come out with a little bit of an advantage. 3-0, lifted out to left field. Burdick is going back. He's at the track, back up against the wall. This one's still flying, and it is out of here. Nolan Arenado, Arenado hits his second home run of the spring and adds to the Cardinals' lead. It's 5-0. I have to tell you, Matt, I thought that ball had no chance. I thought it was just a pop fly. And the wind isn't blowing that much, but he must have put enough on it. Catching prospect. He's right, we're back to the Marlins. I don't know what inning it is. I think it's one pitch to Jazz right is around the air to left center field. It is back. It is way back, and it's gone. He is a homer. I wasn't Seven sure that, that was going to leave the yard when Jazz hit it. But an opposite field Josh homer Chisholm for Jr. Jazz. Oh, I like the, the, six in. the new cover of um, Cardinals seven up and lead. It's now seven. MLB up. show oh, twenty three. Sure knew it was on. I mean, they took one step back, and then you just see their heads watch that baseball go over the fence. They did not even make the jog out to the outfield. And we have uh, Daniel De Castano now pitching. He's a left-hander. He's facing Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn looking for a hit today. He's over two so far. He's ground out of the shortstop twice. He waits on another pitch from the left, and he turns on a pitch way back, way out of here. As Mason Wynn hits one onto the terrace of the offices for the Miami Marlins. And one of the employees is now coming out to try and retrieve that ball. He put a charge into that ball. Wow. Claims every Great home run by, hit today uh, before that one did not look like a home run off the bat. But that, that one did. That, one, that and more. My goodness. So here we go. Taylor, Taylor Potter, Potter batting. 286 the batting average on the screen. The one two pitch is hit. This is early in the game. Shallow center field. John Birdie is out. Here comes Jazz Chisholm, and he makes a slide. That was really early in the game in the first, first inning. In the of the first inning. Good hustle by Jazz. And this is a precarious breeze out there this afternoon. Yes, the second out of the game, I can be sure. Great job by Jazz there. You know he's got the range. You know he has the speed. We know the athleticism that Jazz Chisholm has. Now, these are the types of situations that he's only going to learn by playing in. All right. So, yeah, that'll be the, uh, the recap. Let's take a look at the final stat line of the game. So, for the Cardinals, Jordan Walker uh, went two for four with a run. Scott Hurst went 0 for 1. Tyler O'Neill went 0 for 2 with a run and a walk. Jimmy Crooks, the third, uh, went 1 for 2. While Juan Yepes went 1 for 3 with a run and a RBI. Luke Major went 1 for 1. While Nolan Arnado, 2 for 2, 2 runs, 2 RBIs. Jose Fermin went 0 for 1. While Junio uh, Puricueto went 0 for 1 as well. Alec Burleson went 2 for 4 with a run and 2 RBIs. Moises Gomez, and not that. Taylor Motter, two for three with a run and a walk and two RBIs. Andrew Kisner went one for three, while Ivan Herrera went 0 for one. Oscar Mercado, 0 for four, while Mason Wynn, one for three, run RBI. Jeremy Rivas, one for one. Uh, that ends the hitting-wise of our lineup. Now, Miles Michaelis started for the Cardinals. He pitched three innings, two hits allowed, walk, three strikeouts. Dakota Hudson pitched another three innings, allowed five hits, earned run, two walks, one strikeout. Andre Pallante pitched an inning, allowed a hit, walk, and strikeout. Chris Bratton pitched an inning, no stats on the board. Tink Hentz, uh, two-thirds of an inning in the ninth, two hits allowed, earned run, walk, and a strikeout. With James Naley finished out the game with a out. That is going to be the Cardinals highlights for uh, March 3rd against the Miami Marlins at home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Cardinals game against the Nationals. That will be, uh, I don't think that's on TV again, so that'll be another short video. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.